Hi everyone, it's Lulu coming to you real face, real time, real everyday makeup, real work day. I put this and I came in close so you could see I'm clearly oily. Um, eyebrows held up beautifully. Lipstick we're going to talk about and you probably can see the smudges here. Shadow lasted, blush lasted. So I'm going to zoom you out now and we'll talk. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, what I did. I put this on at noon on a fresh, clean face and it is now five after five. So that's five hours. So let me zoom you out. Here I am kind of looking normal now, although you can still definitely see my oil. I, uh, I just thought it would be interesting for you to see what happens. You know, I talk about my very oily to oily skin. I talk about using mattifying this, mattifying that, you know, setting with powder and it, it just, it no bueno. And I think um, I've been in the house most of the day. I left the house at 1.30 or 2 to meet my sisters at Panera for a late lunch. I ate a bowl of chicken noodle soup and a toasted bagel with cream cheese. That was um, my dinner. My side was chips, but I didn't eat them. I just brought the bag home. And talked, you know, me and my sister, we talked, we talked. And I was there about an hour and then came home and continued to work. And I'm just ending my day. I went and looked in the mirror and I said, I think I'm going to make a video. I thought it would be interesting. You know, we always come on all dolled up and fresh makeup, but you know, let's let's see what end of the day looks like. Okay, so let's start with my AM skincare because I think that's important, you know, to know what's underneath. A lot of people come on and say, okay, I did my face, I moisturized, but it's kind of like, yeah, but what did you use? I always cleanse in the morning with purity. Blah, sorry. And then I apply my uh, vitamin C 20% serum. I usually use Timeless, but I found Amara Organics, 20% vitamin C, and it's L-ascorbic acid, which is the vitamin, there's seven different forms of vitamin C, and that's the one I strongly prefer. And it's very liquid, and it absorbs quickly. I don't like lotion-y ones, and I don't like fragranced ones. And the fact is, vitamin C stinks. Uh, under my eye, I have Peter Thomas Roth um, PM Retinol Fusion. Uh, it's not moisturizing or hydrating enough for the PM, so I use this as my AM. Like it fine. Then I use my TAA Serum by Makeup Artist Choice. Makeup Artist Choice is where I buy my chemical peels from, my 40, 50, 60%, my lactic acid, my TCA peels, and they have a line, and the TAA serum, it's really great. I'm going to link them below. It's just a link, no affiliate, and they don't know who I am, but what I love about this is they tell you exactly what, pep this is a peptide cream. They tell you exactly what peptides are in there, how much, like, and I don't know, it's very inexpensive and they are forever, if you sign up for email, forever having 20%, 30% off sales. You can also buy samples. And I think this is time ageless, anti timeless anti-aging maybe serum, which is what the TAA stands for. I could be wrong. So this is my peptide serum. And um, I don't know, do my hair, get dressed, do something. And I used Clinique uh, Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Got a sample of it. I have oily skin, so gels or jellies are best for me. Use this as my moisturizer. And then for, I just grab, I have a few SPFs I use every day. Today, this one, I, uh, my sister didn't like it. She gave it to me. It's by Avon. It's the new series, Skinvincible, and it is SPF uh, 50. It's very lotion-y, it absorbs nicely. I was outside and the cars were, um, my car was outside so there was some frost on it. 
ice, not frost, ice and snow. I started the car early so it could get warm and put the rear thing on in the front defroster and so I was able to just kind of slide everything off the windshields. And then I had to walk, you know, not very far, but to Panera in the wind and then back to the car. So, yeah, I was outside a little bit with probably a wind chill of maybe zero. My house I keep at 66, and uh, we do have a whole house humidifier, and I work from home. So I'm mostly on the internet, mostly on email, mostly doing research, mostly sending emails uh, for makeup. You may have, it's hard to find at Walgreens, it's online, certain Walgreens have it. You've probably heard about it in various foundation, my favorites, or this and the other thing, but it's called CYO, and this is their matte foundation, no shine zone. I'm in color 207. No matte. You might wonder why I didn't include a primer I'll try to link it below, but I have a video of something like getting rid of 62 primers. I probably have another tried another 40 since then. Um, they seem to make no difference, and, and I say seem because whenever I get a new alleged mattifying or oil absorbing or long wearing primer, I always use it on half of my face so that I can truly see at 2 o'clock, at 11 o'clock, at 7 o'clock, is there any difference between the two sides? I can absolutely say no difference. Maybe when you first put on your makeup, maybe that first hour after that, no difference between the two sides. Okay, so that's my no primer. Applied with my Beauty Blender sponge, the one from Miss A, which I love. And I'm not going to go necessarily in order. Um, my brows were Anastasia powder. They lasted all day. Anastasia powder. Um, mascara lasted fine. I've used this before. It's the Essence Lash Princess in the Green False Lash Effect. This is fine. The smudging, I used a tight liner. And the tart liner I used was by Tarte. And this is their skinny smolder eyes. I don't know if they still sell these or not. And it's like a bronzy brown. But it is, uh, you know, it's supposed to be long lasting and all that stuff. And I know they were all the rage for, you know, they had a lot of colors. But this is what caused the smudging. Because when I wear this without tight lining, I never get smudging. I never get smudging with any mascara ever. I get smudging from tight lining. Ulta eye primer, always use that. Always use Wet n Wild Creme Brulee to very lightly dust the lids after the Ulta eye primer, kind of to set it. Uh, blush lasted all day and it is the Sweetie Pie by Too Faced. I have a lot of blushes. Um, I just try to grab a different one every day and this is the one I happen to grab today. I did set my face. Um, the foundation dried down beautifully. It covered pores beautifully. Like it was a beautiful finish and it wasn't a dead matte. It wasn't a flat matte. It was a satin matte, satin natural, a natural matte. I'm not sure what to call it. It was beautiful. Like the pores on my nose, there weren't any. It looked like somebody took P silly putty plaster putty I don't know like paste <laughs> and just smooth the whole thing out I did because it was matte I was a little worried maybe it'll actually stay matte so I used my Too Faced uh, loose powder and I just took a big powder brush I didn't use my damp beauty blender and press it in because I didn't feel this foundation would need it but I did do a quick dusting of this I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And then I use the Bare Minerals, the Hidden Treasure. It's a very neutral, very neutral palette from, I don't know, a couple years ago? Last Christmas, maybe? I don't remember. But very neutral mattes and shimmers and a couple of sparkling ones. I used all, I used all mattes, except on the eyelid, I did use a shimmery one called Nude Beach. That's the reality of it. Oh, under my eyes, I use... 
it's not all of it. The Milk Makeup Concealer. I've been on a concealer binge. Uh, I like Charlotte Tilbury better than The Milk. The Milk is not bad, but it's just as good as some of my drugstore ones. I'm going to return this. And then the lipstick. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. The color I have on, oh boy. It's kind of a your lips but better. Number 15, Lover. I have been seeing this, you know, for months, months and months, see this mentioned as, you know, indelible, wears all day, wonderful, not drying, etc., etc. And I've heard this from many YouTubers for months and months and months. It stays tacky, and I actually timed it today because I'm thinking to myself, am I crazy? It stays tacky where if you put your lips together like that, you know, they slowly pull apart. It stays tacky on me 17 minutes, but then it's dry. You get no, um, you know, there's no lipstick on my cup, so absolutely transfer, transfer proof. I ate chicken noodle soup, I ate the bagel, I've had coffee, water, you know, typical day. And I say it did, it wore off beautifully. So the color held, the gloss and smoothness did not. Um, I don't know because it's so close to my lip color, it's hard to see, but it did wear out on the inside, but nicely. So that's real life, and I was going to say with the foundation, not only was I very oily, I think you can see that I have a very red nose. Um, so it did not hold on, especially around my nose, and all of my broken capillaries in my nose, showing it. All of the broken capillaries around my nose, and my nose itself, is very red. So it was amazing simply amazing i hope you enjoyed it just real life everything is laid out on the table what i use to get ready for skincare and then my makeup and what it looks like at the end of the day my my the i think the concealer work this is shadows plus i have hollows which i'm going to get fixed next week but the um the concealer held up just fine. It just, you know, if you look under my eyes, it really looks like Maybelline Fit Me or just, you know, it's, it's, it's average. I, I am returning it. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.